Welcome to Only411 Destinations, the world's premier online portal for explorers and travelers that want the most out of life. What good is living a life you've been giving if all you do is stand in one place? Get out and explore. Only411 is here to help. Better get to living and explore the world both near and afar. Only411 provides you with the information to make your next trip a memorable adventure. Stay informed with Only411. Click to subscribe, ring the notification bell, and share this video with others that need the 411. Let's get started with the best places to visit in Delaware. Number 11. Grand Opera House Ranking on the 11th position is the Grand Opera House in Wilmington, restored in 1871 Victorian theatre with a cast iron facade. Over the years, the Grand has hosted Victorian melodramas, vaudeville, burlesque, musical recitals, variety shows, symphonies, and operas. It is also considered the hotspot for culture and performances in town, with over 75 shows a year. Classical concerts and dance are the focus of today. The Grand Opera House is home to the Delaware Symphony, Opera Delaware, and the First State Ballet Theater. Number 10. Delaware's Old State House The Georgian-style Delaware State House in Dover was completed in 1792. It holds the governor's presentation and ceremonial office, also the 18th century courtroom and legislative chambers on the first floor, which you can admire. There are more artifacts, historical photographs, and documents on the display and detail the 224 years of usage the building has seen. One of the most exciting paintings is of George Washington. This massive painting measures 7 feet by 5 feet and dates from 1802, which Dennis A. Volazan paints. Number 9. The Nanticoke Indian Museum in the Nanticoke Indian Museum, various native artifacts are displayed here, such as pottery, arrowheads, spears, and textiles, with some items dating back to 8000 BC. Of particular note is a tradition wooden canoe. In Millsboro, the Nanticoke Indian Museum is housed in a former one-room schoolhouse and is listed as a National Historic Landmark. The museum offers a good overview and is a great place to learn about the tradition of the Nanticoke tribe. Number 8. Brandywine Creek State Park If you are interested in wild birds, this place might interest you. Brandywine Creek State Park, which covers about 933 acres of land and is essential for birds and other wildlife. You can spot some rare birds here at different times of the year. This park also features the Brandywine Zoo and numerous other things to do. The zoo specializes in South American and North Endangered species. Visitors can enjoy walking the trail and enjoy the connection with nature. Don't forget to bring your fishing rod. You can find a variety of species, such as smallmouth bass and crappie here. If you want other activities, you can make a small list of other things here, including canoeing, kayaking, and tubing. If you don't have your gear, local outfitters will get you set up and on the water in no time. Hiking, walking, and running are popular pastimes in the park and two of the best trails are the Rocky Run Trail and the Brandywine Trail, which winds its way along the creek. Brandywine Creek State Park is primarily known for its majestic stand of tulip poplar trees close to 200 years old. A level loop trail meanders under these giants and leaves from the nature center. While you stroll along, keep an eye out for songbirds, deer, and other forest critters. Number seven. John Dickinson Plantation. John Dickinson was known as the penman of the American Revolution, and he was credited with drafting the Articles of Confederation in 1778. His 1740s property in Dover is part of the farm complex. This farm makes an educational family trip with costumed interpreters roaming about the property performing duties that would have been commonplace in the 16th century. One of the most exciting buildings to visit is the Granary. Here, six intact historical machines, an inclined plane, a screw, a wedge, a lever, a pulley, a wheel, and an axle are explained in great detail. In the Welcome Center, the life and times of five residents of the plantation are chronicled on display panels and provide excellent insight into what life would have been like back then. Number 6. Delaware Art Museum, Wilmington 
Located in Wilmington, this museum offers the visitors a collection that focuses on American art of the 19th through the 21st centuries and English pre-Raphaelite art of the mid-19th century. The museum is primarily known for the premier collection of the works and papers of American artist Howard Pyle, who illustrated books by Mark Twain and Robert Louis Stevenson. Pyle is best known for his ethereal, mystical etchings, drawings, and paintings of mythological and medieval chivalry scenes and pirates images for Treasure Island. You'll see the originals of his works alongside those of Maxfield Parrish, Norman Rockwell, and other familiar illustrators. A highlight of the collections is the complete cycle of murals Pyle painted for the dining room of their home in Wilmington. Displayed as intended in an intimate space of paneled walls, other special collections at the Delaware Art Museum include posters from American poster designers and jewelry and metalwork made by English craftsmen in the arts and crafts style. As you approach the building, you can't help seeing the Dale Chihuly arrangement of brilliant glass flowers, each several feet across, displayed in front of a large window and visible from below in the museum's atrium. The flowers are also visible close up from a walkway between the two wings of the building. Outside on the lawns is the Copeland Sculpture Garden with nine works highlighted by Tom Otterness. Number 5. Hagley Museum and Library The Hagley Museum and Library in Wilmington encompasses the site of the original DuPont Gunpowder Mills and an estate and gardens. The first DuPont family home, Eleutherian Mills, built by E.I. DuPont in 1803, sits overlooking the restored French style garden also created by E.I. DuPont. Five generations of DuPonts lived in the Georgian style home and their family business grew around them. In the visitor center and the library if you're interested in further research, you can learn how the industry developed along the Brandywine River as the technology for using water power evolved. You can see a collection of vintage vehicles from the barn, including a Conestoga wagon that was used to transport black powder to the port of Wilmington. In the Science and Discovery Center, you can try on a spacesuit and learn about the DuPont materials that went into making it. If you made it this far, make sure to stick around till the end of this video and hit that like button. Let's get started to our next destination. Number 4. Air Mobility Command Museum, Dover Aviation buffs will want to visit the Air Mobility Command Museum to view its fine collection of vintage planes dating from 1941. Wander the hangar and lot out front to see the artifacts that reflect airlifting, air refueling, and the Dover Air Force Base history. On display are over 30 aircraft of various sizes and functions. The largest is the C-141B Starlifter, C-133 Cargo Master, C-130 Hercules, and a C-124 Globemaster. You can climb the stairs and explore inside to feel what the planes are genuinely like. Number 3. Winterthur Museum and Gardens Founded by Henry Francis DuPont, Winterthur is unusual as a museum because it was built to showcase his collections of priceless antiques and art as a place to use and entertain family and friends. The 175 rooms were designed to be as historically accurate as possible with antique furniture, needlework, textiles, silver, glass, paintings, prints, and ceramics appropriate to specific periods. Winterthur is considered America's finest museum of decorative arts. With nearly 90,000 objects to choose from, curators can not only furnish the rooms authentically, but mount special exhibits in the galleries to follow themes such as artistic mediums, techniques, and decorative styles and influences. Because of the house's size, no tour covers more than small sections, you will need to return several times to see everything. The house is surrounded by 1,000-acre park where you can visit a botanical garden for plants and trees from all over the world, planning their arrangement with a mind to colors and blooming season so that the park would be beautiful from late winter through late fall, which is a pretty attractive spot which you must see. Fern-bounded woodland paths lead to grand vistas of lawn and flower beds and to the Enchanted Woods, a three-acre children's garden where kids can step into the world of woods fairies. Number 2. Nemours Estate, Wilmington 
Nemours Mansion in Wilmington is a gift from Alfred DuPont to his wife, Alicia. This beautiful 77-room home is complemented by equally impressive gardens, the most extensive formal French gardens in the North America, built in early 1900. The ground area it covers is almost 200 acres, including lawns, woodlands, and meadows. Follow the long walk to the brilliant pool where the intermittent water jets shoot into the air. And if you are entrusted into vintage cars, then the chauffeur's garage holds a collection of vintage automobiles you can visit to see. Number 1. Rehoboth and Delaware Beaches Stretching much of the length of Delaware's 28 miles of Arctic coastlines are white sand beaches, and they are extremely popular with residents of the three major cities within weekend reach. The most important resort is Rehoboth Beach, consistently listed among the country's most famous beaches for its laid-back atmosphere, restaurants, boutiques, and vast stretch of white sand. North of Rehoboth is Cape Henlopen State Park and the charmingly old-fashioned Lewis. To the south is action-packed Dewey Beach, then the Delaware Seashore State Park, with water access on the ocean side and the bay side of a long barrier island then the family-friendly Bethany Beach and Fenwick Island. There's a beach for every taste. One of the most popular attractions at Rehoboth Beach is Funland and has been a local institution since 1962. The amusement park is perfect for visiting its rides if you are with the family. Few of them are for adults and the rest are suitable for children of all ages and a midway with games. Are you going to visit any of these places or have you already made them a destination? Let us know in the comments section below. And hey, if you liked our list of top 11 destinations, then don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to only 411 destinations, and ring the bell icon so you can get notified next time.